What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash Derek. Today, we're talking about dragons at Town Hall 9. We see a lot of hype from dragons at Town Hall 10, 11, and 12, and you're probably already used to using them from Town Hall 7 and 8, but Town Hall 9 is a new beast and a new way to use them. We're going to discover that today, so make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're heading right over to the live feeds, and we're going to catch some highlights from the Town Hall 9 Cup where players were playing for $45,000. Also guys, for the rules of this tournament, these players were only allowed to receive troops and spells from other Town Hall 9s in a level 1 clan. That means no advanced level troops, no advanced level spells, and no advanced troop types like bowlers and e-drags were allowed to be used for this. So everybody can use these strategies and go wreck some bases. We have some live attacks from my own team as we participated in that tournament, and I did a dragon attack myself. And you can see how we think about these attacks, what we're looking for, and how to bring down these bases. So let's go get right into action. All right, guys, we are live down to the last 12 minutes of our first war of the Town Hall 9 Cup Tournament. $45,000 for one team that can go undefeated through nine rounds. 512 teams have entered this tournament. Let's see if we can bring it in. Robo is going in right now. Looks like he's got dragons. He's got the Zap Quake Dragon. So I can see exactly why he chose this strategy for this base. Look at the air defenses over on the right side there. They are in close proximity, and that's exactly what you're looking for when you do a Zap Quake dragon attack one of the strongest variations of dragons at town hall nine and when you see the air defenses in that arrangement take full advantage of it drop in two earthquakes initially uh, look at the damage and then we can use the earthquake as a backup if the lightnings don't take it down if the lightnings are able to take it down then we can use that earthquake somewhere else to soften up the rest of the base there normally i send in the heroes opposite of the town hall but he's got a nice funneling point on the top side there with just a couple archers he can take out those camps and he can have a funnel right into the town hall so the heroes are coming in over near where the zap quake happened he's got a baby dragon there to cut the funnel to force them in he's got a wizard down but a test is going to take that doubt at the very bottom there as he's trying to funnel his heroes into that channel to go after another air defense that's exactly what we're looking for here dragons are punching in one rage while they're fighting the cc and the enemy queen is going to carry them through he doesn't have to fight that sweeper luckily and he chose an entry that he's not going to engage that sweeper's range and the other sweeper he's going to come up on the backside. i don't even see where the other sweeper is but it's somewhere in there hidden he has a hound come out of the enemy cc and his heroes drew it out and luckily he's going to be able to deal with those pups no problem there that is a little bit uh scary there sometimes and then that last air defense over at the nine o'clock side there he had a couple balloons a lava hound and a hay spell to quickly rush it before the dragon started getting shot down by it now he can work his way into the last couple defenses and he's just into cleanup here he's absolutely crushed this one robo bringing it in big time we need to go perfect guys we have to get to the next round every single round of this tournament is going to be crazy the bases are tough and hopefully ours will hold strong as well and we'll be able to defend but right now they have three triples on us so we're in a little bit of hurt as we kick this off here but we can keep this live here if we can keep on bringing in triples like this so good job robo looks like they did triple against us so we're hurting we need to go perfect we need to go perfect so while we were live there watching Robo, the attack that went through was on my base and it was another Zapquake Dragon attack. So on this one, he uses the Earthquake first. Then he sends in the Lightnings right in between the air defenses there and he assesses the damage, makes sure that he puts that last Lightning to take out the air defenses. Always make sure you delay that last Lightning just a little bit there because the Lightning striking is random and you want to make sure you put that last Lightning wherever you need it, whatever air defenses are going to be at higher health there to make sure that you get them down. It's very, very very important that you do it like that and then you can send in the heroes try to take out an air defense and anything they can get on the other side there mainly they're forming the funnel but if they can get an air defense then all the better here then he needs to form the funnel next to the zap so he has the baby dragon there trying to clear the trash on the outside there unfortunately the expo locks onto it for him and that's going to take that baby dragon down a little bit early and make so that it doesn't finish off the trash ring here and that's going to make the dragons unfortunately for him go down to the king and then they're going to go to the trash ring around the base which is exactly what you don't want to happen so as you can see there he has a hound coming in the top side because he has all the air defenses down because the heroes were able to get the other two he's going to be able to have that hound go in and anchor right in the middle of all those defenses and tank all of them allowing those balloons to move through and get huge value with no spell support so definitely got some massive value out of that he ends up pulling the hound out of the cc on this one and that's going to cause a little bit of problems here and we'll see how that plays out in the end here but luckily for him even though the dragon circled the base there that would 
normally indicate that this was going to be a failed attack, but because the Hound was able to move through and the balloons were in such big value, they were able to work their way into the core there and get into that expo and finish off the base there. We have a huge Tesla farm up on the very top side of the base here, and the Hound is surviving all the way through with no air defenses to shoot it down. It was getting some massive value. The dragons were pretty much just cleaning up trash there. The Hound is locked onto the King, and the dragons are locked onto the Hound as they push their air way into the final area here and uh it was a little bit of a struggle here as he pushed into this final area there was a heavily heavily trapped top corner here that was meant to be a hog trap to, it was just lined with giant bombs and it was meant to just finish off the giant bombs and get this attack to time fail but unfortunately with just some red mines there even with the hound uh taking and distracting the pups or excuse me, distracting the dragons there while he's trying to fight off the pups he still had just enough to bring down here was relatively close there and luckily for him he's able to bring in the three star but we got another one coming up soon because i'm about to go live and see if i can bring one in of my own all right guys we're down to the last couple of minutes here and they went perfect on ours they three starred all of our bases that means we have to three star all of theirs but we have to do it faster the tiebreaker is average attack time so we need to bring it down we're going live let's do this so we need to first i want to test for troll teslas here and i'm going to test for black mines in the whole area there while we zap we'll quake so just two lightnings first then we assess the damage we put down the last lightning finish off that air defense and we've cleared the area of black mines there with that blue we are safe to drop the baby dragon to go clear the trash ring we'll put the heroes on the top side here to go after the air defense on this side we'll put the dragon there to funnel and let's test this top corner for black mines as, or not black mines uh troll teslas we do find some with some traps we'll drop one more balloon on it and then we'll get the dragons down to join with this other dragon and start pushing into the town hall here so they should be able to engage the enemy queen here and the cc at the same time so we will rage through that and we should be able to push through straight strongly into this area of the base here we'll join them with the hounds and the balloon to go after the last air defense actually i don't have any balloons i uh i brought a cc hound and i made a mistake here guys so we're gonna that's not good um i don't have any balloons we have two hounds so we're gonna try to take advantage of that we'll send them both in we're gonna pop this king ability and uh we'll send the balloons in i guess We'll uh, haste some dragons, but these hounds hopefully are not going to uh, go down too quick here and the dragons can catch up. But luckily, we're going to take all the expos here on the pro We'll cast that haste to get them caught up. And it's not looking great right now. I'm not quite happy with how it's turning out there. But actually, the hound is tanking the air defense and the expos right now. So the pups might bring down the air defense before the dragons ever get there. So we might luck out here. We had one dragon split off to the bottom side there with all the minions down to start working on cleanup on the other side there outside of the range of those Teslas. Archer in the corner. Looks like all the corners are clear of troll Teslas. We are able to cover all of them and we're going to end into the Tesla farm right here. I have a hound intact and if it can pop, that would be great. We'll clear the whole area of red mines and keep these dragons alive and get some extra cleanup here. There goes it pops and I should have the three star here and look at the time guys we did it in under a minute by the looks of it or just just over a minute by the looks of it now <laughs> so hopefully that's enough here uh but the war's about to end so uh we'll see how it turns out we'll see how it turns out see if we have enough here to bring in this win Well, guys, unfortunately, we were unable to close out the three stars on the other two attacks there, so we got eliminated. But during the semifinals, there was another player who used the dragon attack, and we're going to go check that out right now. He used it a little bit differently, also with the zaps, but not with the air defenses in that orientation that we saw in these attacks. So let's go check that out right now. All right, guys, with only four teams remaining and $45,000 on the line here, Audios Town Hall 9 was coming in here with the pressure on and they were going against Hot Chili Peppers in the semifinals. They ended up taking the win in this war here and they took on Team Queso in the finals where they won $45,000 and were the Town Hall 9 Cup champions. So a amazing war here and a beautiful attack by Oblivion as he goes in with the Sui heroes. The heroes wall break into that first compartment 
take out an air defense and then that queen is going to be able to step up and take out a second air defense so now the dragons are going to be able to charge the town hall here we see them coming in but there's no funnel on the left side of the dragons there so they could get stuck in the trash there and get forced to the outside and not go to the core and that could cause a lot of problems here but he's going to pop his queen ability to get through that air defense and he has the lightnings to take down the air defense in the middle he has another dragon come down to finish forming the funnel on the left side he has the poison and the rage as he fights off the cc uh tough cc there for this specific attack because he had witches and archers come out of the cc and he's gonna go take that down no problem he sends in the lightnings takes out the air defense that is up ahead of him and then the last air defense on the base there he has a hound and a cc and a few balloons and a hay spell to rush that so here they come on the top side here as he pops another rage in the core there for those dragons to drive in and the hound arrives at the air defense before the dragons start getting shot by it which is perfect timing and he's able to push those balloons into the area there he has the haste but he doesn't use it quite yet he has the hound almost pop the air defense there which was uh, very nice there as he works his way through he has the haste carry him into the wizard tower and the base is absolutely crushed so i think you guys get the idea of how to do the dragon attack there it is very very powerful and you guys should give it a try so i think that's going to be it for today but make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button and come back to the channel for more competitive action all the time and all the guides you can look for that's it for today take it easy see you in the next one